What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's me Kaz at the Ball bringing you more infinite magic content. Please before we get into the video do click like, subscribe and comment below, it really does help the channel grow. I really can't thank you enough for all the support that you all currently give. Um, before, but I'm not going to keep going on and on and on, on like I normally do in my intros, so thank you. Let's get into the video. Uh, we're going to talk about are the heroes worth it? Taru, uh, first up for the new legend hero. We're going to go through his stats, we're going to go through his exclusives, and we're going to see if he's actually worth it. Uh, then we'll move on to Olga after that, and then we'll have a look at the other epic that is coming. So first is Taru. Uh, we're going to go from left to right on his skills. Uh, see what, what it's all about. Um, so his basic attack is deals damage to a single enemy by 10% of Taru's maximum health with a 20% chance to inflict intertwined, which is tiny, that's minuscule, absolute minuscule chance of uh, putting on intertwined. Even when he's upgraded, it's 30% chance. So you have to bypass the effect resistance and then you've got a 30% chance of landing intertwined, which is tiny. Um, but hey, you know, it may land if you want to rely on RNG. Um, he grants himself one layer of heal for two turns whenever he successfully inflicts intertwined on an enemy target. This skill cannot land as a crit. Kind of a bad basic in my opinion uh let's move on to his second ability which is giant tree shield grants all allies consolidation one and one layer of heal for two turns now okay it's not bad but it's not consolidation two you know we have the likes of elec we've got catherine even whim doing this you know elec's doing consolidation two it reduces 20 percent of the damage taken which is okay it's pretty much all he gives to our team uh, the heal as well is, once again, it's okay. It restores self-health by 5% of maximum health each turn before action. Um, I'm not look at exclusives yet. Uh, Power of Ivy, his third skill, which is a passive. Uh, the heal granted by Taru additionally restores Taru's health by 1% of maximum health. Taru grants all allies a shield by 5% of maximum health, which is tiny, uh, for two turns when an enemy target is inflicted with stun by intertwined. So you're going to have to wait two turns to get that shield, up to one layer of shield. So it can only be one, one shield from, from the stun. It won't stack if five enemies get stunned. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, um, it has some more health regeneration here, uh, but it's very selfish of him. He's very selfish, right? Like, give it to the team. Like, okay, I know, Taru, yeah, yeah, just give it to the teammates. Um, Anger of the Forest, which is his fourth and final ability, what I call an ultimate ability, right? There is a 40% chance. 40% chance to inflict intertwined on all enemies for two turns. Afterward, deals damage to all enemies by 12% of Taru's maximum health. The more targets with intertwined, the higher the damage dealt by this skill. Up to 16% of Taru's maximum health. This skill cannot land as a crit. Um, even upgraded here, it's a 70% chance. Cool down of four. I mean, I, I I don't think that's very good. Sorry, I don't think that's good enough. Yeah, okay, he's going to have a crazy amount of health, all right? And he's going to deal with a nice amount of damage, but but that intertwined, it's, it's, it's just not enough for me. For me, this isn't enough. Um, you know, you could pair him with the likes of Taff, but no, Taff is just better in, in, in Taff is just better. Taff is better than this. Taff, Taff, yeah. Okay, well, I'm not interested in this guy whatsoever. Sacred Wooden Shield, level one exclusive. Additionally grants Taru Consolidation two, and a shield with 20% of max health for two turns. Okay, so does that mean... Okay, wait. So when it says it grants Taru Consolidation two, does that, is that for all allies? Is that for all allies? That's what I wanna know, is that for all allies? If it's not, then that is even more selfish. Uh, level 2 exclusive is Taru restores self-health by 4% of maximum health whenever an enemy target is inflicted with, with intertwined. That's again for himself. Level 3, which is the big one, I guess. Stun can be triggered one turn after intertwined is inflicted. Okay, we're going back to kind of beta times when Taff intertwined used to proc after one turn. So this is a level 3 exclusive here. Um, which is nasty. Okay, that's nasty. 
is inflicted by an ally on an enemy when two Taru survives. There is a 50% chance to inflict stun on a target for one turn when their intertwined is cleansed. If stun is success, uh, successfully inflicted, grants all allies a shield up to one layer by 5% of maximum health for two turns, which is the same as before. Um, but, okay, d d d you, to make this guy useful, to make him useful, he needs to be exclusive free. Simple as that. Done and dusted. If you're going to use Taru, he needs to be exclusive level free. And that, that exclusive level free is nasty okay that is nasty uh causing the stun after one turn trust me that is really nasty um so yeah okay i wouldn't use him before exclusive free and that's a shame but in in hindsight it's not that bad there's a new legend people are complaining about new legends coming into the game but you're not going to worry too much about this one unless you're summoning like crazy on um on on, on freaking miracle wishes uh, Olga is, where is she? Olga, is it Holy Parliament? It is a Holy Parliament, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so she looks cool. I, I like the look of her. She's got a bow. A lot of people like ranged characters. Um, she looks smart. Oh, yeah, I'm not mad on her eyes. Armor, um, uh, okay, yeah. She's kind of kind of sexy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the hills. Okay, we're not actually doing a character image review here maybe we, that's something we'll do in the future if, if that's what you want let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to go through the uh design of characters um okay let's talk about her skills obviously she's a red mark she is from holy parliament and she's an attacking hero now basic skill holy arrow deals 220 percent attack damage to a single enemy if the target has an attribute debuff additionally increases 25 percent damage which is nice because if you think of defense down it's um it's an attribute debuff that's then going to scale with an extra twenty five percent. If they're under control status, they additionally increases fifty percent damage instead, which again is is very nice considering. I wonder if that stacks with the auras because we have auras that um give us if we're if they're under control. I think it's a deep impact aura. Then we do more damage again. So that would be interesting to see if that stacks with that because that'd be quite nice. Uh, second second ability is Sacred Winds, which is grant self damage immunity and control immunity for one turn, which is nice. Then pursues and attacks one enemy target under control status one time. Okay. Wait. What? Wow. Okay, when this is upgraded, they pursue and attack one more enemy. So, if the enemy targets are under control status. Oh, wow. Okay. So, she's going to be pairing with the likes of, of Asindo, um, Zyra. Ooh, well, okay, this is kind of kind of nice. Um, yeah, okay, this, this is impressive. That's nasty. Uh, skill ability level 3, which is the passive skill, is Olga takes 25% less direct damage when she is attacked by heroes with countered mark. Okay, so if they're the, if they're the counter mark, then, you know, she, she's taking less damage. Olga has an 18% chance to pursue an attack one time after an ally cast. Skills that deals damage proactively. Okay, that's kind of nice as well. So she's like a joint attacker. She's like a joint attacker. So if if um if we we're, we're attacking with someone and she has a chance, it's a low chance to come in and join that attack and, and nuke as well. It does increase up to 21, 24, 30 percent. Okay, it's not bad. It's nice. It's new. It's different. I'm not used to that in the game yet. Joint attacks. Nice. Um, Light Forged Arrow deals four stages of 100% attack damage, which is 400%, each to a single enemy. The first three stages of attacks reduce the target's turn meter by 15% each, and the fourth target uh, stage inflicts silence for one turn. All right. All right. And then this is increased by 45%. It's, it's not bad. It's not a huge nuke. It's not bad. Uh, that can be every four turns. All right, let's have a look at our exclusives so we can make our mind up on Olga. Uh, level 1 exclusive is extended duration of damage immunity and control immunity to 2 turns. Olga acts 1 extra turn after casting it. Now that is very nice, exclusive level 1. That's really nice uh, for having an extra turn there to cast. Uh, Olga deals 20% more direct damage to eternal sector and doom the legion enemies and takes 20% less direct damage from them. Okay, quite uh, specific, but Olga pursues and attacks targets one time after casting a light forged arrow. So she's all about multiple attacks. Level 3, Light Forged Arrow, 
the first freeze stage reduces turn meter by 25% each instead of 15%, which is what it was. Um, if the target's turn meter is zero when the fourth stage deals damage, the inflicted silence inflicted cannot be removed for two turns. So that's big as well. That, that's that's a nice. She's nice. I like I like her kit. Um, kind of yeah. I like Ogre. Going to be very interesting to see who is going to go for this hero. She's going to pair up with some some real control teams. Um, that's 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 uh yeah. She's looking impressive. Definitely go for Olga over to Rue all day long. Um, she is she's looking solid. She is looking solid. Okay, I know the chances of her joint attacks and stuff like that, but if she's got exclusive or something, she is solid. Uh, also, Red Mark, Holy Parliament. I like I like Olga. I like Olga. I do. Okay, so now let's look at our epic hero, uh, Sinov. And uh, let's see, I, I don't like the graphics on her. I will say that. I think she could have been a lot better. Is she supposed to be like a shaman or something? Like not like an ice shaman? She kind of looks like a shaman. Or, or, or I don't know. I, yeah. The hair, yeah, okay, this is weird. But, all right. Whatever floats your boat, let's get into the review. Uh, skill level one is deals 160% attack damage to a single enemy with a 30% chance to reduce their speed by 20% for two turns and restores the ally with the lowest health percentage by 3% of max health. Okay. Speed down is always nice. It's, it's a low chance, but it's kind of nice. Um, and restores you know, the ally with, with a low amount of uh, health regeneration there. Skill 2 is restores all allies' health by 6% of max health and increases their turn meters by 10%. That's, 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 that's okay. Uh, that does increase up to 10%. That's okay. Uh, passive skill Sonov is immune to speed down. There is a 30% chance to inflict freeze on the enemy target for one turn instead of reducing their speed when Sinov deals direct damage to targets under the speed down status. All right, it's always nice to freeze. Um, and with her other kit, then yeah, we could argue that it's all right. Speed down two is very nice as well. Her ultimate is deals 180% attack damage to all enemies. Okay, so it's an AOE with a 30% chance to reduce her speed by 40% for two turns of speed down two. So it's a nice one. Uh, this increases up to 50% chance, which isn't huge. It isn't huge, but then it's an epic. So we can't really expect it to be huge. Uh, let's have a look at her exclusives before we can make a, a final judgment on Sinov. Uh, level 1 exclusive additionally grants all allies a shield by 15% of max health. Two turns, nice, but not a very big shield. 15% isn't much at all. Um, but it's enough to take off a bit of damage as well. She's healing at the same time. She's also increasing turn meter, so yeah, okay, granted. Level 2 Sinov is immune to freeze and gains 20% turn meter whenever her speed is reduced or she is inflicted with freeze. Okay, so we're going to be looking at, say, Nasil. No one's using Grandy. Is Nasil is, is maybe she'll be good in the campaign stage where they're freezing a lot. I mean, she's immune to that's kind of, okay. Uh, level three exclusive additionally reduces all enemies' turn meters by fifteen percent on Brilliant Moon. And what, what is this again? Okay, so we're speed down to and reducing fifteen percent of their turn meter, which is is solid. That is a solid solid um exclusive level three. Okay, I would say she's average. I mean, maybe a tiny bit above average. She's Dragon Tribe, which is nice. She's Dragon Tribe, which is nice. I think I would have to test her to, to really. The thing is, is like who she can replace. I can only see her being used in in Faction Abyss. Faction Abyss. Maybe Green tower but like she doesn't really you know we have space for instance things like that um okay i'm sure someone will find a good use for her i'm sure someone will find a good use for her the speed down two is very nice it is very nice i'm reducing the turn meter you know you can't knock that can't knock that that is nice so yeah i mean yeah uh, maybe maybe we'll do some testing on her of, of some kind 
Um, okay, that is all the new heroes coming to the game. Okay, guys, so that is what I think of the free heroes. Teru, no go, unless he's exclusive free. Olga looks very uh, satisfying and impressive. Um, definitely look at pulling for that one if you do. Don't blame me if you don't get it, all right? Like, just, yeah, just be reasonable. Please be reasonable. You know, there are so many heroes that we have currently that we can use, but she is a very cool one. She is very cool. And Sinnoh of the Epic as well. Um, she looks interesting, to say the least. I, You know, I do think that she will be useful. I do think she will. Uh, she's definitely not food, for instance. She's definitely not food. We can find use for her. Um, I'm Cars at Liverpool. Thank you for watching. Everyone, make sure you click like, subscribe, and comment below to help the channel grow. I will see you all very soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.